Hey guys, and welcome to another Hobby Tips. So today we're going to be learning about painting, you know, tanned flesh on a Stormcast. Uh, something in the middle. So I've got some colors here for you to, to try out, and I think it's going to be pretty cool. So it's a really simple process. We're just going to be doing maybe, you know, three layers and a highlight. So very, very simple. Something that you can repeat over and over again across your army. And, um, you know, it works well for most standard sort of, I guess, Caucasian flesh tone kind of thing. You know, if you want to do something darker, you could always go darker and use the same process, the same technique. But for this one, we're going for, I guess, a, a mid-tone to tanned uh, kind of flesh and should, should come up pretty cool. So I've got this Stormcast here. Uh, I've got him all set up and ready to go. We'd, we've got like a kind of a, a grizzled veteran here with his um, beard and so on, but there's enough flesh there for us to, to get a good uh, a good result and you'll notice if we have a look at the colors so we're, we're using uh, Bugman's Glow here these are all Citadel um, we've got Arcadian Flesh the next step up and then we've got Kislev for a lighter tone so basically three shades you could do this with one and 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 mix and so on uh, with the darker and lighter tone or you could or you could have a, a three step it doesn't really matter but you're looking for uh, that tonal range going up and then finally we have some white to add in for our final highlights so if you had like a lighter flesh tone you could use that it doesn't really matter but um, the, the concept is to start from a base a mid tone you know and, and, and layer lighter than that for your for your shading and then a final highlight pretty much and you should get end up with something really nice and the beauty about this is this is going to teach you about layering and highlighting without the use of ink washes and glazes and stuff like that because one of the things that when you start you'll often find that most tutorials will take you through you know put a base color down uh, and then you throw an ink wash on it you know and well not necessarily that tutorials will always teach you that but that generally is something that you do when you're first starting and this process is sort of training you out of that a little bit and trying uh, to build your shading and your highlights and so on your definition uh, purely with paint and that's going to increase your uh, you know your paint control your brush control your dilution uh, your color theory and so on and that just helps uh, round out your skills so even though ink washing over flat colors is fine and that, that's a great way to get shading and so on um, there are more ways to do this and you know you can get much higher results once you start digging into how to control that paint and so this is like a nice easy first step to learning that it also is a great way to do it on faces because that becomes your focal point for the model and even if you're using faster techniques like on this one here you know, even though maybe to some people this might be not a fast technique or, or whatever, but you know, the in relative terms, the the armor and so on was done very quickly, and then that's left some areas where I can slow down and do a more a more considered technique to to you know build the overall uh, I guess look and feel of the model. So that's kind of what we're going for here. So I'm going to get the palette set up and let's get started. All right, so first up, we're going to put the base color down. So that's the uh, the Bugman's Glow. Add a little bit of water to your paint, drag it across to create your first layer. Okay, nice and smooth. Make sure it drags off the brush well. Okay, get your point back on, and then we're going to begin. So what we what we're going for here is just a nice even flat coat across all of the skin areas. You know, try not to get it on on the the hair and so on. We can always come back and touch that up. But we're just we're just basically putting it one flat coat down, nice and even, to get rid of that black, and give ourselves a nice base to work with. Now, you could, if you wanted to, depending on how you want to do this, you can, if you're really good with the brush, you can um, leave a little bit of black in around the eye to help give it shading, or you can paint over it and and re-black it out after. I generally like to try to leave just a little touch of black in there because that can kind of help if you're doing a tan skin. If you're doing something a little bit lighter, you could then paint over it. So maybe for this one, I'll show you the method maybe painting straight over and uh, just because that's probably what most people are going to end up doing because it is hard to keep that black exactly in around the eye. So we'll do a, an all over version, but you're still going to have a pretty dark uh, shadow there once we put the lighter layers on. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now, and then we'll move on to our first layer. So once you've put the base layer down, this has had two coats to give it a nice even finish. 
now we move on for the, for the first layer. So we're going to be using this uh, Cadian Flesh Tone here and we're not going to be using it straight from the pot. What we're going to do is create our gradient. So we're going to bring across some of this Cadian Flesh and just allow a little bit of that Bugman's Glow to mix with it and give us a tone that is just a little bit darker and closer to this, this base layer just to just to offset it slightly so that it's not quite so stark going on. And that's the real trick with this technique is to find some soft transitions of color uh, through those steps and it will give you a much more natural finish and something that looks a lot more like flesh. One of the one of the things that you find when you're first starting is when you put those ink washes over your flesh tones, um, it creates a very stark contrast between the shadows and, and, the, and the highlights and you know I guess it's a more stylized or cartoony look and in some cases on some characters that's great but when you're looking at like human flesh you know our eye when we look at that we instantly realize that there's something not quite right there if you're looking at the only time a human face or human skin really ever gets that contrasted is in very severe lighting conditions, you know, hard light hitting the face, that sort of thing. In sort of overcast or general like outside light, you're not going to get quite as much of that type of shadowing. It's going to be much, much softer and the transitions of those shadows are softer. And so on a little tiny surface like this, if you're simulating a little bit of that, you're going to end up with something much, much more satisfying to look at. Um, and, and it's relatively easy. It's, it's, it's a nice way to get into layering because you're not yeah, you're 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 going to end up with a with a with a a better result that's not quite so um, yeah stark or severe anyway. So let let's try it out. So we're just going to put some in our brush here. We're going to start probably on the forehead here. I think is the best place to begin, and we're just going to start across this uh, the eyebrow there, and we're just we're just putting this tone on all the top areas, the contours of the face where the light would hit, okay, just running it around, leaving a little bit of shadow in any of the areas around the edge where it meets the hair, across the top of the, the ear there, across the top of the cheek, coming down under the eye, okay, and just coming across, adding on that little eyelid there just with the tip of your brush and just very carefully, it's a little bit hard to see on this on this footage, but you're just basically following all of the raised contours across the face. So the, the nose, the T-section across the brow. Okay, you'll notice on this model or on models that, you know, a lot of the sort of Games Workshop ones, you'll have a nice big heavy heavy brow line there with like sort of an indent where you can create a shadow um, just like you're starting to see there so you're just building in a few shadow lines just above the eyebrows to uh, where the I guess your um, where the skull has a slight indentation um, it, it's exaggerated on these sculpts but it just it just gives you that that form there to, to help show that the the skull isn't totally flat on that surface and then across the top of these cheekbones and so on and we're just going to build up that base tone and that will that'll be a nice map then to then put on our highlights and, and build up the face so once we have that next layer down you can see that it's starting to come to life here uh, even on this footage we're starting to see some shadows starting to build up a little bit of color there. So the next layer is where we're really where we're going to see um, a change. So now we're going to use just this uh, this Cadian Flesh Tone straight. And we'll build it up next to this. Okay, nice and diluted down. Get your point back on the brush. Now you want to be using a, a small brush for this step because um, it is going to be quite a fine one. On a face like this it's quite um, you know, fine, but if you're doing like a larger a larger model, it'll be easier. But we want to get nice and close, get yourself comfortable. And we're now doing the same thing as we did before, but now just leaving possibly a little bit more of the, the tone underneath coming through. So we're just hitting the very raised areas. Just hitting those side of that head there to get that light hitting off the, off, off the, the corner there. Coming across keeping some of those shadows, you know, hitting the top of the nose and the end under the eye, hitting down across that cheek, leaving a little bit more of the shadow now 
across the top of the ear again just watching the flow of the of the paint and where it's hitting to start getting those shadows and we can see now if we look we're starting to build up a little bit of shadow there as we move around and so that's what you're really trying to do and we'll now repeat that on the other side of the face and we'll see how we go from there all right and so now you're seeing the face start to come alive and so we've got some shading going on we haven't used any ink washes yes this is a bit of a slower technique but this is really starting to get you into the mode of of how to really generate some you know good results with you with your painting uh, layering and highlighting is at the base of pretty much all painting so uh, getting to grips with this is, is a great thing and if you're new to it then you might only try this on let's say your hero character or something like that you don't have to necessarily do this technique across all of your models but on, on some of the more centerpiece ones that might be a great place to begin just to see if you can nail down um, you know some of that shading and highlighting because it will improve your painting overall and, and, and give a nice focal point so yeah unfortunately we can't really see the subtlety that's going on there I'll see if I can get that closer you can just sort of see the shadows happening on that on that forehead there you know it's a little hard to tell on the on this footage but it is it is definitely happening uh, unfortunately the yeah the lights will be washed out but anyway so now we're going to move on to um, the Kislev flesh so we move that in and we're going to use this for our our highlight now with this with this flesh tone you can see that I'm allowing a little bit of the other color to to belt to melt uh, mix with it and give us a slightly off version of the color and I often do that because it helps just bring the the two together and we're going to use a very fine point here and we're just looking to hit those very raised edges so most of the flesh is already done we're just we're just basically trying to define it further and give ourselves a bit more a bit more contrast a bit more light hitting that face so it's little tiny dabs with your brush just hitting those edges imagining the sun beaming down hitting that face you know just giving life to it bring that light up under the cheek there down across you can leave a little bit of the other color there if you like around the edges see that see how it's starting to really make that come alive so you just go around and do that across the face and you'll start to see you know where this is really headed and we can keep going there's there's a you could stop after this layer and that would be fine but because we're, we're trying to consider this to be like a character model we're going to go up a little bit brighter than this just to really uh, pick out the the face and make it come alive and then finally we're going to be adding in a little bit of the white so we just come across here and add a little bit in and create a nice light tone back in the old days if you have really old paints this color would have been known as Elf Flesh. It's a very old color. If you're an old school uh, painter and you come back to the hobby and you're watching this video, then you'll know what that is. But it's basically just a very light skin tone. And this is almost the same as that. So we're just getting at some really light tone here that's just a step above what we were doing. And we're going to use that now mostly around the center of the face, the T section, just to bring out some of that face and make it make it a uh, really come to life you know where the sun would be hitting it we're going to see some little specular highlights and so on so we're just going to bring it in very carefully just in that center area just to start bringing out some very subtle light you know this is one of those little delicate little jobs that requires your attention but you know if you just give it that little bit of bit of love you'll end up with something pretty cool. So you're just gonna go through and just pick out all those little spots across the eye there. Okay, so we're getting 
just some little dots of light just under that eye across the top of that cheek okay maybe we'll just connect a little bit of this light up here there we go just soften that in a little bit more so we're just getting it towards the front of the face can you see how that's starting to make that that lift now so I'm just going to go through and pick out those little spots just in that central area and maybe across the top of the ear there a little bit a bit more across the cheek and so on and then uh, and, and on the top of that lip and then we should be pretty much good to go all right and there we have it so you can see just really simple mid-tone flash done relatively quickly but it's gonna it's gonna be nice just to, to do this on your like you know um, I guess character model or your you know your unit champion or, or whatever whatever model you have that you want to spend a bit more time on now in, the, in this footage it's a little bit washed out but it is a lot more tanned in reality and at the end I'll give you an overview uh, and a better picture so you can uh, take a look at it and I've you know obviously finished off the rest of the hair and the eyes uh, but we'll save that for another another day um, as that's a whole nother kind of thing unfortunately there is no hobby tips for eyes eyes are just hard no matter uh, what you do you just need a fine brush and a very steady hand I've just gone for a little blue kind of you can't really see it very much on this footage but it's kind of like a blue tinted eye using a bit of contrast paint um, just just to give it that kind of you know otherworldly look as these guys are meant to be resurrected you know heroes from a from a bygone age uh, Sigmarite heroes and so I wanted to just show that they're not actually really just normal people you know they're they're being reforged over and over again and they're a little bit beyond normal human kind of um, anatomy so I just wanted to show that off without being too over the top so yeah um, I hope this has been helpful for you I hope you've uh, learned something here and, and give it a go because it will improve your painting and it, it will it will uh, make things you know just read a little bit nicer for you and give just another tool in your tool bag to um, you know expand your your hobby skills so yeah if you have like this please hit that like button subscribe button it really helps me out and um, I guess I'll see you on the next one